Well, hello there, Monorail. Good morning. Is it morning still? Yes, it is still morning, technically. And welcome to Epcot. Today is uh, our day that we're going to be doing the Food and Wine Festival for the year 2024. Pretty excited. We're going to actually do every single, I'm not going to say booth, because some of the locations are not booths, but we're going to do every single food and wine location this year. And we're going to bring you along for it. We're not going to try everything because that's just a bit much. We are going to do at least a thing or two from each location, show you in real life what a real person would do experience in that situation. But anyways, we started off over here at Communicore Hall with some appetizers. Actually, it's mac appetizers. So that's obviously where you start, I suppose. But anyways, let's see what the day brings us. Okay, we just got out of Communicore Hall and we stopped by the mac appetizers booth inside there. We have the chili, or actually it's the impossible chili cheese macaroni and cheese cheese steak macaroni and cheese, the Kentucky pumpkin bourbon ale. Let's start with this. A little aperitif. Mmm. Okay. All right, that's good. Is it pumpkin-y? Yeah, it is. Like when I, even before I tasted it, the smell like hit me of pumpkin, which is fun. Man, that's good. Mmm. So that's the first thing of the today. First thing of the day for today. Food and wine festival. We're doing it. All right, tell us what this cheesesteak tastes like. Tastes like cheesesteak? Yeah, it's really good. And macaroni and cheese? What a combo. It tastes more like cheesesteak than mac and cheese though. Very nice, the Impossible Chili Cheese Macaroni and Cheese. It's got Fritos in there, Impossible Chili, macaroni, some uh, sour cream. Let's get, try to get a little bit of everything. All right. That's got a lot of flavor to it. That tastes fantastic. That's. Dang it, man. That's that's delicious. We're off to a good start. Yep, and our fine dining here. I know you're always like anti fake meat and everything, but doesn't it taste pretty good? It does taste good. The macaroni and cheese helps it. Jessica's not a beer person, but she's gonna try this pumpkin ale. Not a, an impossible meat person or a beer person, but mm -hmm. we'll try this out. Still not a beer person. Does it smell pumpkin-y though? It smells and tastes pumpkin-y, but it's too... Too beery? For me. Yeah, I think yeah. it's pretty good. Anyways, Communicore Hall, thumbs up. All right, next up at Old Bramblewood is our next kind of booth that we've made it to. All we did, we got this, uh, what is this called? Apple something, old fashioned something. It's made with rum, I think. Yeah, it's it's not made with whiskey or bourbon, right. like a traditional um, old-fashioned. Old inspired. Yeah, old-fashioned inspired. <laughs> is it good? It's very good. Yeah. actually. it kind of tastes like um, it tastes like apple juice, like a legit just. Oh really? Apple juice. Oh boy, that sounds dangerous. Let me see. I do like old fashions. I like bourbon. I like whiskey. Um, I like rums too, but I definitely like old fashions. Let's see. Oh, that's interesting. Does it taste like apple juice? Straight up apple juice? No, because there's like cinnamon in there or something. Oh. Does it taste like cinnamon apple juice? Yeah. Yeah, but that, it's really good. It doesn't taste like alcohol. So that could be a dangerous thing. I don't know. Maybe there's just a little bit in it or it's just one of those things that masks it very well. But that's, that's, that's really good. Mm. Not your kids, apple juice. No. Nope. Uh, all right, so Bramblewood was pretty good. And uh, right next to it on this nice lush, uh, this is a, a very lush grass, turf, whatever you want to call it. But the next one we have coming up right here is Milled and Mold. I don't know what we're getting from here. Oh man, I wonder if it's gonna be this carrot cake. We were talking about this carrot cake. So that might be something we get. I think in real life, there's even more icing than that, like all over the plate, so. Let's find out. Yep, all right, we got the carrot cake. Oh, hang on, all right. All right, so milled and mold, and then the bramble wood is in this area called Harvest Hollow. So Harvest Hollow, I guess it's all kind of harvest, harvesty type stuff, because it is very savory and like, you know, whatever, but we got, uh, what did we get? We got a freshly baked carrot cake. It looks delicious. Wow. Copper tail brewing, fallen fruit, very, what? Copper tail brewing, fallen fruit, blueberry pie, hard pie. All right, let's try this um, carrot cake. 
and she like dances and you follow what she does. And you did this whole line dance and like a bunch of people came over and you just line dance. Today. Oh boy. Mmm. Look at that. In there. Holy moly. Okay. All right. Let's see what you think about that thing. Oh god. Is it that good? That's pretty good. Like instant oh god? Mm -hmm. Holy moly. All right. It does look really it does look really good. Let's wash it down with this. Oh, what would you get there? The blueberry cider? I said it like three times in the previous clip. Oh. Maybe twice. Okay. Two and a half. All right. Oh God. Freaking gnats. Gnats. Freaking gnats. <laughs> <laughs> Got these freaking gnats over here. Did you get what you needed from that? <laughs> Just sure. Okay. How was that drink? It was good. Okay. It tasted like blueberries. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's like a little bit of icing on the lens. That's good, right? So we're at our third stop. We're only at our third stop and we already got icing on the lens. What the heck? Thanks, Mild and Mold. And directly across from there is gonna be this place called Forest and Field. I don't remember what we're getting here. We'll find out in just a, just a second. So they've got the autumn chili, the pumpkin mascarpone ravioli, and the burrata. I think we're gonna go with this autumn chili because it's got cornbread. And I do love some cornbread. I do like pumpkin too. And burrata, like seasonal fall fruit, fig vinaigrette. That sounds delicious. But yeah, I think the autumn chili wins for me. It's got creme fraiche. You know, who doesn't like a creme fraiche? All right, here's what we got from Forest and Field. We did get the chili. Whoa, wow, look at that. All right, so this is the autumn chili. This has bison, lamb, pork belly, root vegetables, jalapeno cornbread, smoked cheddar, and cream fraiche. I wonder what the cream fraiche is. Is that how it's spelled? I mean, it says F-R-A-I-C-H-E. How would you say that? I don't know. Or big chunks. Bison chunks? Maybe, yeah. It's good. I don't know. Like is it different? Flavor. Yeah. Huh. But not in a bad way. Well, that's good. A lot of birds around here. This tastes really good. I like it with the cornbread. Cornbread is kind of sweet. So you get the jalapeno, got a little, not a kick, but it's got that jalapeno like taste to it. The cornbread does. And then it's got the bison and the lamb. I don't know if it does have it in there, but it tastes like kind of curry-ish. Does it taste kind of curry-ish? No. No? Okay. Tropical mimosa. It's tropical because it's the pod juice. Ah, pineapple. Pineapple. Orange. Orange guava. guava. And champagne. Everybody, hmm. it's good. Could use a little more champagne. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. But it's a little, so little good. light on the champagne. Yeah. But still good. Yes. That's good. Okay. All right. So it did start raining. We were in Australia. Got some uh, the shrimp skewer. It's raining pretty good, actually. That looks good. <laughs> Oh, it's got the tails on it. I don't like, I don't eat the tails. Some people eat the tails. I won't. I don't, yeah. Oh, it's good. It's spicy. Is it good? Oh, right. That's some legit rain. But everybody's happy still, so that's good. Yeah, that's where we were, Australia over there. Got that. We're heading this way. I do like the colors on that. The shrimp and the, the beans and the you red. Don't like are those green beans or mm -hmm. there's something different? All right, just a quick green. Oh, there is water. Standing a little bit, a little bit of a oh, slow no. drain. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. got a Walta de Barbacoa. It's like a burrito type thing. Fried tortillas filled with barbacoa beef topped with salsa verde, crema mexicana, and queso fresco. Oh yeah. What's on the inside? It's just barbacoa. Yeah. What is just, barbacoa? Just meat. What'd you get? A mango sunrise margarita. Ooh. I don't really taste the mezcal, but it has mezcal in it. Oh, nice. 
So it should be it should be kind of smoky, right? Yeah, I guess it's a little bit smoky. Hmm. We also got this. This is the cornbread, chocolate cornbread. But what is this called? Elote something? Pande elote. Pande elote. Pande elote. All right, I'm gonna try this out. Okay, there we go. All right, let me try this. This elote, this chocolate cornbread. Let's try. You know what? I'm gonna try a little bit of the cornbread by itself first. Like that. Oh man, there's chunks of corn in there. That's good. All right. Now let's get a little bit of cornbread with chocolate on it. This is delicious. This is one of the best things I've had in a very long time. This is, man. You guys gotta try this. This is really good. Mm. All right, we are passing by Mexico. Just went to the Mexico booth. That is a bit of a trap because there's a lot of really good things inside of there. We're not gonna stop because we got much more to do and we've only done, geez, I don't know, how many booths have we done so far? We haven't even, this is our like first not even real a third. country in the world. In the world not even a third, right? Yeah. Six. Only six? Well, Holy yeah, moly. Okay, all right, well, yep. We're definitely not going in here. We don't have, we're not gonna be able to survive if we go inside of here. So we're gonna keep on moving on to the next area booth or whatever you want to call it. Next up we stopped over at the Festival Favorites over back over by Communa Hall. Communicore Hall? Communa Hall. <laughs> Communicore Hall where we started off. Um, and we got uh, quite a few things. Um, JR got the, what is it? The s'mores float? Uh, frozen. Frozen. So JR got the frozen s'mores milkshake. Uh, Jessica picked up the classic Bailey's milkshake? Yeah, I was trying to, I was struggling with the name too. So the, the classic Bailey's milkshake. Um, JR got some pork rinds and uh, Jessica also got some of these pierogies that we're gonna share. Kielbasa. Oh, and kielbasa. So I think that's all gonna be pretty darn good. It looks neat. Oh. That's better than I thought it was gonna be. That's pretty good, the cheese is neat on the inside. What you got there? Frozen s'more. It tastes like marshmallow. Chocolate? It tastes more marshmallow-y than anything. Hmm. That's that should go really good with these pork rinds. Yeah. Oh yeah. Next up from Flavors from Fire, we got this blended burger. And it's uh, this blended steakhouse burger. It looks pretty fantastic. Um, it's got a chip, potato chip on there, so that's pretty truffle wild. Oh, a truffle potato chip, so it's a fancy one. And, and of course- Wild mushroom slider with a truffle brie cheese fondue. Oh, I didn't know about all that. Yeah. Okay, And Neat. then the swine brine. Swine brine. With Jim Beam bourbon, apple cinnamon cider, lemon juice, and Dijon mustard. That one's a classic. I feel like I don't remember it being all those flavors, but I guess we'll see. Kind of tastes like liquefied mustard, Dijon mustard. Mmm. Dijon. Dijon. With a hint of a little crepe poupon. Does look good. I heard a crunch. That sounds neat. Well, next up we went over to Coastal Eats, which is right across from uh, Flavors from Fire. Coastal Eats right over there. Um, and there was this thing that was not on the menu. What is this called? Crab Claw Cocktail. Crab Claw Cocktail. Do you remember what was in it? Crab Claw. Like, I just feel like there's so much left. Inside of there? Yeah, how do you get that out? Maybe I just don't know how to eat. Oh boy. Ooh! Oh yeah, and I think you eat off of there or something. All right, so what do we got here from the fry basket? All right, we got the fry flight. Um, all along in here, we got our truffle, no wait, yeah, yeah, right, so our truffle parmesan fries, we got our barbecue bacon fries, and our sweet potato casserole fries, I can't eat those, I can't do sweet potato, it sounds good, looks good, smells good, but I can't eat them, my body just rejects it, but also we got this drink here, that's not on this card, um, this is some sort of mango rita sour with chili, that's 
Tastes like jalapeno, actually. Yeah. Or maybe some sort of chili, like a red chili pepper. Weird. Yeah, there's no sweet in that. It tastes like you're biting a pepper. It's got a little bit of a spice to it, but it doesn't hang around. That's interesting. Okay, let's start with these truffle parmesan fries. I think that's the truffle parmesan. Yeah. It tastes like a french fry. It's good. <laughs> it's a good fry. Is this the barbecue bacon? Yes. Okay. With smoked aioli. Oh, okay. I didn't get any of the aioli. The aioli all over me. All right. That's gross. I like the trummel, no, the trummel, <laughs> the truffle parmesan ones. All right, I'm gonna let you taste the uh, sweet potato ones. Tastes like Thanksgiving. All right, that's cool. Thanksgiving is good. We like Thanksgiving. I mean, they do look good. What do you think? They smell spicy. Yeah, they do smell very spicy. These are the uh, unnecessarily spicy wings from the brewing lab at the Odyssey. These for the hot seat, hot seat, spicy, spicy wings. That was like the weeniest bite ever. Look at that. Let me see that bite you just took. There you go. How your lips feel? That's probably the good one. You can tell he's trying to be tough. You can tell. He's also starting to sweat a little bit. I've been sweating, but it's a starting to sweat more. Yeah. He one full wing if you want to talk about the meat. Yeah. And then there's three mm -hmm. wings left. So he didn't finish two of the wings he'd been into. Yeah. I don't even want to touch them. No, I don't even want to touch the plate. Next up, we went over to the China booth. What did what did we get? I don't remember the name of this, but it's some kind of mango cocktail. Pretty good? Yes. Nice. Refreshing, actually. Oh, very good. Yeah. We also got this crispy duck. Kind of funny, because when we were walking over here, we passed by a couple of ducks that- They were chasing me. They're like, my friend, you have my friend. <laughs> oh no. And that sun is beaming right in our faces, though. Ay, ay, ay. Are we? I don't know. This is the problem with these festivals. It's it's too much food. It's too much. We're we're struggling. We are definitely struggling to make it through here. All right. I know I just said we were struggling, but it, me and Jessica, we're struggling. Jr. He's still going pretty strong. <laughs> he decided to get some of this cheesecake from over at uh, the Italy booth. It does look a little bit like a murder scene, but it also looks delicious. It looks like a delicious murder scene. Let's see, what's it taste like? Wonderful. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> I like what you did there. Because we're in Italy, you did the Italian hand gesture. I get it. This is good. A blood orange margarita mm. from Italy also. Italy? Cool. It tastes. Tastes like juice. <laughs> like juice. All right, is that like in a good way? Yeah, I mean, it's good. Okay. A little tartness, but nothing crazy. Yeah. All right. Neat. All right, yeah, I think this is it. This is this this Brazil one is the last one. We can't do this anymore. Too many people here. Well, not even that, but I cannot eat anymore. Yeah. All right, so from this Brazil place, we got this cheesy bread. I don't really care for that cheese bread too much, but everybody loves it. And Jessica got the uh, frozen caiprena. All right. Tastes like a limeade. Like a limeade? Yeah, it's okay. good. All right. It tastes like a limeade. Interesting. Very interesting. JR. James. Let's see this cheese bread. No cheese pull. No, no right. cheese pull with that one. Still tastes Ain't good. no cheese pull with that one. It's basically cheese and bread. We'll just, that will be a resort evening because we did that when we went for the. Listen, I think I might be over this whole food and wine thing. I love food, I like drinks. There's just too many people. It's, a, it's just too many people. The, the kid screaming. Yeah, that's me on the inside. Like, all oh, the people. And like, you got these groups of people that are just yelling and hollering. That's not fun. 
And there's also just too much food. You can't do it in one day. Even if you just did like one small thing from every, whatchamacallit, like every booth or whatever, still couldn't do it. Funny enough, we stopped over here at the um, boardwalk and I got a corn dog. Speaking of can't eat more food, take a look at this thing. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a pickle corn dog. So there's a dog in there and a pickle and cornmeal, like a regular corn and it's got this like peanut butter sauce. Interesting. But uh, anyways, yeah, this is the the stand right here. Right on the boardwalk. It's beautiful. Beautiful sky. It's really nice in the evenings over here. But uh, yeah, we decided to leave Epcot and uh, throw in the towel and get a get a corn dog instead. If you are just joining us, we are on our way to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort with connecting flights to Disney's Hollywood Studios, Disney's Pop Century Resort, and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. Hmm. Say bon voyage to the Mediterranean. We are about to go island hopping at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. guess on that note, bon voyage.